Welcome to the Children's Chapel at St. Peter's Lutheran. I'm Pastor Leslie, and today is Trinity Sunday, a day when we celebrate God's full name. Um, if you were here and I could ask you your full names, I'd learn a lot about you. Lots of people have a first name and a middle name and a last name, right? Well, let's look at some pictures. You see here a geometric shape, and it's what? A triangle because it has one, two, three sides. What about this picture? A tricycle. It has one, two, three wheels. When you see triplets, how many do you see? Here are cute little piglets. One, two, three. Hmm. There's that part of that word again, try. The symbol is a symbol for God, and the symbol's name is Trinity. You can see one, two, three shapes, and they all overlap. It's a way of reminding us of God's full name. God has three names, and yet God is one. Hmm. Here's a picture of Jenny Wiseman. And Jenny is known to her sons Noah and Gabe as mom. They also know that she's a daughter to her parents and that she's a wife to their dad. So Jenny has three different names. Hmm. When we think about God, we think about the creator. God who made rain and thunderclouds and storms and the sunshine, all the plants and animals and you and me. We think about Jesus, the Savior, uh, who came to be born in a manger, who grew up and loved us and taught us how to love and heal people. And we think about wisdom when we think about God. Proverbs 8 in the Bible tells us that in the Hebrew language, Sophia is the word for wisdom. A woman's name, Sophia. Sophia was God's helper when the world was made, so says Proverbs 8. So today we celebrate God's full name because God is more than we can ever understand. And for ages, people have been filled with wonder when they think about God. And they think about how much God loves us. And people who think about these things have wondered, how is it that God makes flowers so beautiful? Or what was God doing before God created the world? Or how can God pay attention to every person in the world all the time. Why did God make mosquitoes? Well, maybe you wonder these things too. Would you talk with your parents? Ask them what kinds of things they wonder about that they'd like to ask God about. Let's offer a prayer together. Dear God, there's so much to learn and love about you. Teach us all the rest of our lives. And fill us with wonder at your holy name. Amen. <laughs>